Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a good day. I have had a terrible one, but look who I've found. Look who I've dragged out of the dumpster. Hi, buddy! Yeah, he, he's back. He, he's back, everybody. Um, and we're back in Anadonia for the first time together in what has to be, what, four months now? Maybe? Yeah, give or take. Oh, it, it's been it's a been, long time. It's been ages. I've, I died in a ditch. I went to Albania. I came back. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. You took one holiday and then another holiday and then you just disappeared for like another three months unaccounted for. Um, but you're back now. That's the important part. So, uh, just just looking at this room. Okay, because there's been a lot of changes while you've been gone. Just looking at this room, what is the first mm. thing you notice that is different? Hmm. The head's changed place. I swear I used to be over here. Uh, well, I cannot validate whether or not that is the truth because I don't remember that one. Um, I was hoping you'd pick something a little more obvious that has appeared um, since you were last here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's this funny box. Yes, uh, I, space in it. I I got around to installing our ender tank finally to give this thing infinite um, lava so that we can use it despite the ah! fact that we've kind of uh, gotten rid of the, the, the point of having a smeltery. Did you just get scared by that mannequin? Yes. A mannequin you knew was there because you used to put your kill the kill armor on there and it's gone missing for some reason? Yes, yes. That is 100% why I was scared. Okay. scared. I don't know, where is the color color? Good to know. Um, good question. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, but if you follow me downstairs, you'll notice that there's a small change in the basement. Or at least the, the, the first basement. Come back come back here. Um, so what what is the first immediate change you notice in here? Hmm. It's a lot brighter. And this is one of these thingy mobobbies here. Yes, we do have access to the crafting terminal down here, finally. Um, this was a recent change. I don't remember if I did this one on camera or in between episodes, but I, uh, I laid some pipe uh, all the way to our basement so that we now have access to our main storage system uh, down here. Uh, another thing I want to do with this room at some point, this is probably going to be later down the line, but um, in an effort to clean up the mess outside that we've kind of just let grow... I want to bring the enchantment table down. Oh, sorry. I want to bring the enchantment table down here to actually give it like some space, uh, like its own dedicated area. No, no, baby, no. I'm yeah, sorry. I've been you. gone no. for three, four months, and your your no. first reaction is to take out all no. your anger. You should, you should have walked <laughs> in the way of my fist. No, I didn't punch you. You were just dumb. Right then, so um. I just walked in. <laughs> How's your connection doing, by the way? You're rubber banding a little on my end. Frames uh, looking all right. The answer is is my average frame, average average frames per second is nineteen. Ooh, that's no bueno. We need to try and find a way to fix that. Um, but if you follow me another layer down, you'll sure. see that this room might look a little different. Uh, I didn't do this one. This was done completely out of my control while I was asleep. This was Grougrith. Uh But if you'll follow me Ooh. through this tunnel that he's kindly dug for us. Um, you'll see he's kind of messed with our deep dark basement a little. Um, he, he sort of paved over the ravine with some glass and some stone brick. I'm surprised they even know how to make that, to be honest. Uh, our soul fire got moved, or our soul lava, I suppose, got moved. It's, it's, it's down there now. And um, if you'll follow me into Gehenna, we can go pay a visit to the system we've got that gives us lava. Yeah, I love Gehenna. Hmm, me too. Really. Ignore the fact that I'm getting that achievement for the first time. My player data got wiped recently. Um, how good are you on the flying thing? Uh, I can fly. Okay, and that's still bugged and infinite, right? Um, I, the thing is, is, I don't know if it's infinite or if I just had that much EMC, but we're going to find out sooner or later. Uh, speaking of which, I have a surprise for you in that front later. Uh, but follow me down here. I don't know how to keep this thing loaded. Um, it keeps breaking on me, even though this is supposed to be an infant lava source. I'm not going to question how you did that. Uh, but what we have right here is we have a create pipe 
uh, pumping into the ender tank, which is being powered by a fan, which is being powered by the heat from the actual lava lake. Now, this should be working, and I think the only reason it isn't is because we have this obsidian here. I feel like if this was missing, and this was a lot smoother, then this wouldn't be an issue. So I think at a later date, or maybe I'll just give you this task when I set off on what we're doing for today, uh, we might want to move this thing a little further out into the lake, just so it, it, it's not being disturbed by the obsidian. Uh, but yeah, this is how we're getting the lava, or at least how it's supposed to be getting the lava. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think of it? What, what do you, you think of my engineering? You, you, uh, am I, am I a good work. engineer? Yeah, you you've been a real Minecraft engineer over here. You've been you've been you've been doing all sorts of cool thanks. Cool little, um, cool little that gizmos. took an entire session. That that took an entire session. Not because the create engineering was hard, uh, but because the create engineering wasn't my first choice. So do you remember that mod that we both really loved because it had the nostalgic quarries and pumps in from the build craft era of, oh, uh, of Minecraft? Yeah, back, back, back when we were little. Well, little, little I little finally, pump. yeah, I finally made the workbench that's required to build those things, and it turns out that the pump from that mod is completely useless. Oh, that would that would have been so well timed. Uh, yeah. So, I I I got the pump. And, and, and I had it in my hand, and I tried to use it, but I don't think we actually have anything in this mod pack that we can use to actually power the pump with. Where, where have you gone? Come up here. Why are you so far down? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. D dude, dude, th it, it's right here. Hop up again. There's, there's an extra layer. There we go. Oh. I installed one on the roof so you oh. could come all the way up. But, but that's why we have... Okay, yes, but this is uh, in the event that the elevator is broken. It's like the emergency hatch. This is being lazy, the simulator. See? I will break it. Don't you dare. It will break uh, Anyway, head. so the chest monster is still as out of control as always. We do need to fix this at some point, but... If you'll follow me and have a look on this board over here, you'll see that we actually have a lot on this to-do list. And this isn't even everything. <laughs> I ran out of space. Um, so obviously, number one, we have tracked down the blonde guy, if you remember him. I, uh, I don't know if you remember him or mm -hmm. not. Um, number two, oh, golden apple like tree farm. We can actually take this one off the board because... I've actually done this one. Wait, how do uh, you... This one's already finished. How do you farm uh, golden apple? If you follow apple? me over here, I can show you. Um, so do you remember ages ago, back before we put the anti, um, wandering traders signs down, uh, we found a wandering trader that sold us the golden leaf, um, saplings, these things over here? Yeah. Oh. Well, one of the drops that you can get from harvesting these things is actually golden apples. Now, unfortunately, the drop isn't as common as I expected it to be. So it's, it's less a golden apple farm and more a just really shit wood farm. Shit in the sense that the wood is just ugly. Um, but it does produce golden apples for us. So for example, if you, if you just bear with me for a second. Let me, let me turn this thing off. There we go, let me turn it off. Um, because I didn't actually give this thing a way of depositing anything that it uh, creates. And you have a look in the end barrel over here. You'll see that we've got uh, 52 saplings, a stack of sticks, 8 more sticks, 5 golden apples, and then if you keep looking through the barrels, eventually... Yeah, look in this one. We've got all of this mystery wood, we've got these stacks of golden apples, uh, we've got even more in this chest, and then even more in this chest, and then even more in this chest. Um, it, it is very lucrative. Uh, but like I said, we don't actually have a way of dropping any of this off yet. That's another task that we need to do at some point. Um, now I am just gonna uh, turn this thing back on, so if I just right-click this and put the dirt back down, we should be fine. Uh, and then if you come over here, I can show you the latest project that I've been working on. Um, this is currently, uh, turned off because it's too effective. Um, but I actually built this for an episode of Starsick, and... 
uh, in an effort to sort of um, make sure there's no gaps in knowledge between the different viewer bases, I am about to play a time lapse of me building this giant thing over here. I don't know if you noticed the giant plant building that uh, sort of appeared in our base, uh, but the time lapse of that is going to start yeah. right now. Never mind. I, I guess I don't have the footage. I I've just come into the game to, 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 to render it out. And what? The hell is happening? Why is the sh why is the atmosphere blue? <coughs> I am so confused. Yeah, when I say that this mod is broken, I'm being serious. I have remo the only mods I have removed. The only ones I have removed were related to rendering of uh, the environment. I have not removed any blocks since I made this 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 recording. I have not done anything like that. All I did, I removed distant horizons and the better like chunk rendering system that we have. None of those should touch block IDs. I am so confused. Look what happened to the create mod stuff. It's turned into like, I'm pretty sure this is create stairs. So the mods are st still in here but it's completely backwards. What happens if I press play? If I hit T, I set my speed up to eight. Obviously this atmosphere is like hard as hell to see through. What if I just hit play now? What's gonna happen? Is it gonna build? Or is it gonna build incorrectly? Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Okay, looks decent so far. You can see me building it. There we go. Oh my god. You know what? I might just, I might just rest here and then speed this footage up. Because this is really weird. Oh, and the uh, the recording crashed. Okay, that was that that was uh, recording one. There's four parts to le to this. Let's see what the other parts are, shall we? Okay, and apparently this is the next step along. Uh, we've made it's a pretty big advancement between the two. I have no idea where my character is right now. I don't remember any of this part. I think I was setting up a cannon, maybe? No. What was I doing during this part? What was I building? I genuinely don't remember. It's like I'm not even near here. Let's, uh, let's pause it, speed it up to eight, then let's see what happens. Because this is a really short one, all things considered. Oh! No, oh, okay, doing that, crashed it, okay, um... On to the next file, I guess. And this is the fourth of six, I believe, potential uh, clips that I would have had to stitch together. As you can see, at uh, the start of this one, we are almost halfway done with the complete next floor of it. So, I mean, I'm guessing the progress that's being made is being made in the back half of the clip that we're crashing before we can see, which is just great. Uh, but let's just leave this one playing for a bit and see what happens. I had a schematic cannon running to help me with some of the heavy lifting on this bit. Oh, and there we go. That's a crash. So, if you ever, if you're ever wondering when I say what I, what I mean when I say that the replay mod for this version of the game is broken as hell, this is what I mean. Okay. So uh, back to the video. Sorry that there's no time lapse. If you could tell me a way that I can undo whatever the hell that was, then I'll put it in the next one. Go ahead. Try. And didn't you just enjoy that time lapse? Yeah, yeah. You, you completely explained why this wasn't just a massive sugar cane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, funny story. <laughs> your, your sugar cane can go fuck itself. Um, but... So oh. what we have over here is a bunch of watches of flowing time that are actually turned off because, again, it made it too efficient. Um, surrounding item users that have tier 6 solar panels on them. And in the item users, set to a one tick delay, we have inferior water cans which speed up the growth of any plant within a 3x3 three three area. I could have made this more efficient by using a higher tier, but I used basic materials to make this. And on one half of the circle, we have Surtis Quartz Seeds, which give us Surtis Quartz Essence. And on the other side of the circle, we have Inferium Seeds, which give us Inferium Essence, which is like, you know that green shit you get from killing literally anything in this mod pack? Oh, the it's thing that. that... We're farming that. Oh, the thing that I keep on throwing away out my inventory, because it's completely useless. Yes. Well, keep that in mind. 
Uh, follow this conveyor belt along here into Mr. Wonka's chocolate factory. Uh, I am just gonna run to make things quicker because this thing is only quick for a conveyor belt, not as a movement uh, option. Um, ignore the boss bar that sometimes appears on screen. We'll get to that later. Um, what did you do with the window? Now, this is the magnum opus of uh, my create mod abilities so far. Um, so what happens is the conveyor belt drops stacks of items into this sh chute system, which is being sucked by a, a fan, uh, and draws things up onto floor number one. On floor number one, there are four outputs to the chute that only allow Inferium out. Uh, that Inferium is then funneled onto these depots, which mechanical hands grab and place into these mechanical crafters, which have a uh, master infusion crystal, which is a crystal that doesn't break, um, already implanted in all of them. That specific thing, the crystals, the amount that I needed for this, is what took the longest. Like, that obviously wasn't included in the time lapse because it's crafting, but I needed so much supremium to make these. Uh, but either way, what it does is it outputs the inferium. Onto, oh yeah, this is probably why you're lagging so much, by the way. It outputs the Inferium onto the depots, and the mechanical hands put it into position, and then outputs it into these depots up here, where another mechanical hand drops the resulting, uh, not Supremium, but like the next tier up, into this chute, and then drops the Master Crystal back into the center of the Auto Crafter. Um, and that's happening on all sides of this building. Uh, once that has been done, uh, they, they then get funneled back into the main chute, which then goes up to the next floor, which is the same pattern, but this just is designed to upgrade it to Tier 3, so Tier 3 Essence. And once that's done, the Tier 3 Essence gets dropped into this chute, which uh, gets pushed up into this Absorption Hopper now. One of the things that we need to do desperately is we need to change how this ending part works, okay? Because technically, uh -huh. this is a very inefficient system. By pushing it into, an, uh, into a vacuum hopper and pushing it out into four random inventory slots, it's sometimes getting stuck by putting the tetrium, which is the, the tier four, either the tier three or the tier four essence, into the wrong crate, which I have to manually move. Um, so if you'll follow me up through this hole, will reach the top. So, this is the inefficient part that I mentioned. Um, now, what we have here is a much simplified um, version of what was going on on all those floors. What's up? Uh-huh. Um, you, uh, you following five. so far? Yeah. So far? Yeah, so what it does is out here it outputs the tetrium, which a mechanical hand puts into this crafter, which outputs the blue version, which I don't remember the name of. I think it's Imperium. But it also outputs the master crystal. Now, because obviously I don't have the space to really put this thing up to maximum speed, what I have going is I've given this one three separate master crystals, which sometimes need to be um, manually reset. Uh, because the hand won't grab them in time when we're logged off. Um, you you do have to kickstart this one uh, sometimes. So if I do this, and then this, and then this. There we go. Oh, wait, no, it's not kickstarting because it's run out of essence. That's interesting. Um, that, that's, that's a flaw that I didn't see coming. Uh, but yeah, so that puts the blue ones into this pattern, and then the, uh, the blue ones uh, get turned into the red ones, which is the uh, Supremium, which get put in, into into this crate here. So we have a stack and 12. or no, sorry, a stack and 42. Um, and then over here, again, we have a very inefficient way of dealing with the overflow of Quartz Essence, because I didn't create a runoff filter. That's another thing we need to do. Uh, so what this is doing is it's also crafting the Quartz Essence into Surtis Quartz, which is getting dumped into this barrel here. So if you come and look inside of this barrel, you'll see uh -huh. how much Surtis Quartz we have. Uh -huh. Mm. So that that's a lot of Sodas Quartz. Uh, one of the things I want to want to get done, or at least attempt to get done in this session, is I want to uh, completely eradicate this part from the Power Flower, and I want to set up a, a dedicated room for purely Quartz uh, processing. Um, so that's everything inside of here. Follow me outside. <laughs> there's a there's a hole in the in the in the ceiling. There we go. So, uh, actually, here's another quiz. From where we are now. Is there anything you noticed that might be different about the base that you didn't see last time? There's a massive fuck-off head over there. 
Okay, yes, that is one of the things. Not what I expected you to see, but that is one of the things. Um, unfortunately, we can't really interact with that yet. I got told to piss off by Graugrith gu Graugrith's guards the last time I tried that. They are stationed outside oh. of the head. Um, I think they're doing some renovation work to the casino. Um, I can see there is a switch in there and what I assume is an elevator. Uh, but the last time I tried to get in there without permission, they punched me in the face. So I don't really want to oh. uh, try that yet. I'll just wait until they invite yeah, us Terry down. Yeah, and Jerry are like that. How the hell do you know who they are? You haven't been <sighs> here. Well, what do you want about? They used to work in the casino as bodyguards. They got identical scars. Oh, yeah, I forget you work for that guy. How did you get that much PTO, by the way? Or did you just get fired? Graugriff is a very understanding boss. I've got a lot of overtime to catch up on the missing days. Fair enough. Right then, so, what we have over here is the entirety of our power grid. This is powering everything. <laughs> And, um, one of the things that we need to do is we need to set up capacitors at some point, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to set up capacitors because these things are really powerful, but we have really powerful drains on our power system. And when it's nighttime, these things stop producing power. I mean, even now, light level 89%, um... Some of these things are not uh, producing at their full capacity, so eventually these are going to run out, especially if we turn our attentions over to this device here now. Considering you're already running at 19 frames on average, which is not good, I'm not going to flip this switch. We're going to have to wait until we've fixed your frame rate issue to do that. Um, but I built us a force field. Okay. Like one of those sci yeah, so sci-fi, like Star Trek mm, fields. Yes, I have quite literally built as a ray shield because I mean, you you saw the drop ship that we raided last time, right? Mm. That thing created a hole in the ocean with pure heat. Imagine what that would happen if they tried to drop that on our shack. I think our shack will survive. Everything else, maybe not. I don't, but the think, shack, yeah. I don't think the biome would survive. I think we'd suffer through the Florida heat waves. Um, but in order to counteract that, follow me up here. We, I, I built a ton of these around the edge of our base. I put them out into good use for once. These are self-sustaining shield generators, okay? Everything that they need is inside of this case. You've got the wireless receiver to turn on the case. Uh, you've got the actual shield generator, and you have power running from the top. Each one has its own array of eight tier six solar panels to provide power to it, which might sound brilliant considering that these things hold a maximum of 32 million FE uh, each. However, that is not enough. These things run at a loss. When it is turned on, these things can only run for about one Minecraft day uh, before they shut off due to a lack of power. So we need desperately, another task here, to make some efficiency cards, energy efficiency cards, so that these things do not run out that quickly. Because if these are running at a loss, then that means that the shield is emergencies only. And that's not really what we want from something that's designed to protect us from death. Mm. I'm glad you agree. Uh, as you, can, yeah, you might be able to see if you zoom in, there's, they're, they're dotted all along the edge of the base, and they completely cover the sky yeah. when they're turned on. Uh, so, if you follow me now, back down to the shack, we can have a look at that board once again, and, uh, we can go through the other things that we have to do. So, uh, the next one on the list, uh, is, uh, 3 slash 4, uh, remove the chest monster and increase ME storage. Now, I have been working on both of these, um, in the time where you have been gone, so if you'd like to follow me, uh, just over here and into the machine room, I think you're gonna notice that we've had a pretty big upgrade <clears throat> in terms of uh, stuff. So um, I'll let you take your pick at what you wanna see what works first. My monkey brain is <laughs> not built for this. the Jurassic, oh. Jurassic Park theme <laughs> when you just sort of panned across. <coughs> Oh no, what, what's happening over here? Okay, let, let's start over here with something yeah. that I know. What okay. <coughs> what works? Wait, where, so where's over my here we have a bunch of 
a uh, bunch of unassorted machines that we've we've used over the over the course of the seasons. We have the sawmill, which is what we use to get sawdust, which is what we use to make the um, the the cardboard boxes. We've got a solidification chamber, which is what I use to make crystallized amber, which is used for a lot of really powerful uh, cyclic blocks. We've got the metallurgy confuser, which uh, we have some refined obsidian dust in, which is used to make enriched alloys and stuff like that from mechanism. Uh, you then have the crusher, oh no, sorry, this, this is the enrichment chamber, which enriches dust to make it pure, um, something that Walter White probably uh, is very used to. Uh, we have the electrolytic separator, which is what we use to charge your jetpack, which is still upstairs, by the way, we should we'll probably go and get you that. I have, like, none of your stuff as far as I'm aware. Um, then we have the crusher over here, which crushes things into dust. And then we also have the multi-servo press, which is basically just a, a more electronic version of this over here, which automatically crushes ingots into plates. Um, so yeah, that, that's what those machines do. Do you want to go and get your stuff before we continue this tour? Because it's still yeah, in the not? chest where you left it upstairs, minus a couple of energy condensers, because I have had to use uh, the ones that we never got around to using. Um, your stuff's in this chest here. Uh, you got your iron sword, you got your jetpack, you got your blaze arrows and your engineer's goggles, which for some reason you have and I don't. And your magnets in there as well, although I don't I recommend them. turning that on right now. It's because I made them, and they are very cool. They are, they're very Actually, I think cool. I might... I think I might still... You. I'm gonna say, you're gonna rock the goggles once again. Oh yeah, let's rock, rock and wait, cosmetic on. There we go. Lovely. Right then. So, speaking wait, why of do I have armor, a soul bead and why do I have a shield projector tier three? What, what, what was I doing with those? Oh, uh, I might have just dumped a couple of things in here over over the course of uh, the time you've been gone, which is probably why you have two let sets of sandpaper and a pump plus. I mean, I know you like pumping but i i don't recall you building that I don't... <clears throat> yeah by the way turn around i've got a surprise for you <gasps> so uh speaking of armor that's uh, been improved is that i might have made slight upgrades in the time you've been gone is that an anti-meta helmet uh close this is a gem helmet which is the next step up from red matter it's between red and dark matter and the reason I built it, I built it in Starsick, and the reason I built it is because it provides infinite night vision, uh, as it's like, um, perk. And it just helped me see in caves when I was looking for the, uh, collector crystals and stuff, the rock crystals. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I now have, uh, basically full netherite and a gem helmet. Uh, but if you follow me back down here, I do have a little surprise for you as well. I didn't get around to finishing the surprise because you came back a little earlier than I was expecting. I only got one item done. Um, <coughs> yes, but it it combines pretty well. So um, just just stand. Just, don't don't come back. Don't come back okay, here. Don't don't, don't don't come uh, back. I'll go. I'll go look just, at Just stand on thing. the the white circle. Oh, just white just circle. stand on the white circle. Ah. Oh! Uh, so we're going down down. Hell yeah. Go, we're going down swinging. Wait, shit, I forgot something. Stay here. I, I needed to grab something before we came down. Hang on. Spinny rope. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I needed. Spinny rope. Uh, yeah, oh. that's, ah! that, that's the gantry that we're running on. Uh, yeah, hi, by the way. So, welcome Hi, hi, sorry. To... I didn't notice you behind me. I was too distracted. Yeah. Welcome to my underground lab. I built this uh, in between episodes using some spare resources we had because we basically have infinite iron. Uh, but over oh, here, the one thing I was able to collect for you was this amulet right here, if you if you want to put it on. Ooh, of course. Oh! Yeah, so take that, put it on. Ooh. My neck slot? <gasps> yes. Oh my god, it's so pretty! You can, you can bind it to shoot infinite water out of, so you can, you can basically become squirtle with that. Uh, but one thing that it does do that isn't um, flood the base is if you stand on water, you can become Jesus. You can stand on water, just straight up. You can walk on water, and it makes you like ten times faster on water, so you can jet across an ocean like you're the Flash. 
Cool. It says press R, but R isn't doing anything. Yes, yeah, sometimes so you have to rebind it. It actually broke my Philosopher's Stone, which is why <laughs> I'm not uh, holding mine in my offhand. Mine's just on my necklace slot. Uh, but I have one more thing to show you down here. Um, now, I don't want you to panic, um, but keep an eye on the door. I'm already panicking. You, you've essentially built a Batman-style base. Uh-huh, right and I've got my own Batman-style villain down here. Wait, that... No! Uh... It's Zombie Man! That? Oh, so you tell me you're going into the... You mean me getting this was completely useless? Uh, yeah. Ah! In fact, we have three stacks of those. It Be only careful. took me four months to get here. That's... <coughs> really not good. Um, I don't know how, <clears throat> but it's not in its containment field. Wait. That, that's, that's really not good. That's barely inside of its containment field anymore. Has it the, shouldn't be there. Has the wither escaped containment? Nearly, which is very concerning. Um... You shouldn't be able to hit that, so the fact that you can is, uh, worrying. Oh, no. In fact, you know what? Yeah, kill it off, please. Kill it off, so um, that we don't have to worry about it escaping. No, I, I think I like the idea. This might be your chance to get the achievement as well. <laughs> Only, again, what achievement? It just takes so long. I mean, what health is this thing got, anyway? It's got 88, 85. God, you're sort of shit. How, how's, uh, fighting the Wither Boss going? Is it if you oh, it is. Destroying my base and everything. It's just, it's just as hard as I thought it would be. Um, so that was, uh, we, we, I, I had that thing what? prisoner for the express purpose of farming it for its ether gas using the fluid laser base that we have above it. Um, Ew, why are you trying to take his gas? I, I needed it for something. I don't remember what. Uh, but that is generally really concerning if it managed to somehow get out of the stasis chamber. I think I'm gonna have to s I'm gonna I'm gonna have to isolate this from the main power grid and then just add more stasis chambers so if it does escape the central one it'll still be frozen. Because I've noticed now that we've moved onto a server host, stuff like with the, the, the master crystal earlier that I explained, it it, it, it moved. Uh, when we were offline, but it moved wrong. It, it didn't adhere to the same rules as it does when I'm online. And I think that's what happened here. By by logging off, something changed, and the Wither was able to escape for the briefest of moments. And I don't want to risk that happening again.